Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. I'm always so excited about coming to school. Yeah, me too. I love learning new things every day. Oh, look! A cute little froggy! I'm going to follow it and see where it goes. Wait for me, Mr. Froggy! Why don't you all head to class? I'll join you in a bit. See you later, Cha-Cha! your favorite place, Mr. Froggy? Huh? What's this? Wow! It's shaped like a car! It's a pencil box! Ooh! So many new pencils and pointy tips! And the eraser is shaped like a car, too! How cool! I love the way it opens and shuts! Oh, lucky kid, whoever owns this car-shaped pencil box. I wish I had one like this. Well, it doesn't belong to me, so I better put it back. Whoever lost it will probably come looking for it. But what if they don't come looking for it? What if it just keeps lying here under the bench? It'll get ruined here in the dirt. It's better that someone uses it. Nah, it doesn't belong to me. I shouldn't keep it. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you say you shouldn't keep it? Haven't you ever heard of finders, keepers, losers, weepers? Huh? That's how it works, buddy. If you find something, you can keep it. Too bad for the person who wasn't careful and who lost it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Cool, I'll keep it. I know you really like this pencil box, Cha-Cha, but it's not yours. You should leave it where you found it. The bell. Excuse me. I've got to get to class. All right, kids. You can start your writing assignment. Go on, get your pencils and erasers out. Okay, kids, it's time for your snack break now. You can put away your books and go out. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. how it feels. Don't worry. I'm sure someone will find it and return it. What's happened? Why is Suki so sad? She's lost a pencil box that she loved. Uh, a pencil box? Yes, it was a very special pencil box because my granny gave it to me for Chinese New Year last year. Uh, Suki, do you remember where you last used it? This morning, 
I was sitting on that bench. I had the pencil box on my lap. But after that, when I got to class, I couldn't find it. It's beautiful. It's shaped like a car. Choo-choo, cha-cha. Will you help me look for it? Of course! Let's go search near the bench. Cha-cha, you can tell the truth and do the right thing. Don't do that, Cha-cha. It could get you in trouble. Besides, don't you love the pencil box? I love the pencil box, but it doesn't belong to me. And I don't like how it's making Suki so sad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to do the right thing. Choo-choo, Suki, wait, I need to tell you something. What is it, Cha-Cha? Tell us. Suki, this morning I found a beautiful car-shaped pencil box under this bench. Oh, and then? Well, I liked it so much, I picked it up and decided to keep it. I believed that finders are keepers. And that it's okay to take something that someone else has lost. But now I've understood that taking something that doesn't belong to you isn't a nice thing to do. Suki, I took your pencil box and I'm really sorry about it. I want to give it back to you. Oh, Cha-Cha, how brave of you to tell the truth. Do you forgive me, Suki? Are we still friends? Of course I forgive you, Cha-Cha. And of course we're still friends. I'm proud to have a brave and honest friend like you, Cha-Cha. Well done, little brother. I'm so proud that you had the courage to do the right thing. liked having nice things. If he liked something that his friends had, he would ask for it. Cha-Cha, I like your pencil. Please give it to me. I'm sorry, Cuzzly, but this is my favorite pencil. Heh. <laughs> Thank you. 
If Cusley's friends didn't give him what he wanted, Cusley would do something very bad. He would quietly take them anyway. Aha! Miss Dorothy had noticed Cusley's bad habit. She tried to talk to him about it, but Cusley pretended he hadn't done anything. It's not nice to take your friend's things, Cusley. Uh, but I didn't take anything, Miss Dorothy. One day, Cusley brought a new pencil sharpener to school. He left it on his desk and went out to play. Cha-Cha wanted to teach a lesson to Cusley. When Cusley came back, his pencil sharpener was missing. Huh? Oh. <laughs> My pencil sharpener's gone! Someone must have stolen it! Cha-Cha and the other children returned to the classroom. They saw that Cusley was upset. What's wrong, Cusley? My new pencil sharpener is missing! Someone has stolen it! Don't worry, Cusley! None of our friends steal, so your pencil sharpener must be around here somewhere. All the children then looked for Cusley's pencil sharpener. They looked all over the classroom. Eventually, Cha-Cha found it under a desk. Your pencil sharpener's here, Cusley. It must have fallen off the desk. Maybe that's what happened to my favorite pencil, too! Huh? Cusley was happy to have his pencil sharpener back. But he also felt bad that he had stolen from his friends. What he had done was very wrong. After all, his friends were always kind to him. The next day, Cusley returned all the things he had stolen. I'm sorry, Cha-Cha. I took your pencil. Oh! My favorite pencil! You had it, Cusley? Cusley realized how important everyone's things were to them. And so, he never stole anything again.